a car came, and then I heard a loud bang, and I thought it was a firecracker, and then I, I turned around, I seen the guy holding it the other way, like I knew, so I knew it was a gun, so I hid, then he was leaving, so I stayed there where I was a little, just in case, I ran. It was a deeply disturbing and terrifying incident that was caught on security camera. You can see one male walking across the street, then a little boy running across. Just then, a male figure gets out of a white SUV and immediately starts blasting a gun, seemingly directly at the boy. It was about 10 o'clock on Saturday night. Eight-year-old Marcus and about six of his friends were playing right here on the boulevard of his townhouse complex on Jamestown Crescent. Somebody asked Marcus to run across the street to a nearby unit where they sell candy. It was very bad timing because that is when two people started shooting. You can only see one shooter in the video, but police say there were two and possibly a third person driving the car. Investigators recovered 15 rounds from two different high-powered handguns. It lasted only a matter of seconds, and when he thought it was safe, Marcus hightailed it home to his mother. I just came upstairs and hugged, started hugging him. Janet has lived in the Rexdale Community Housing Complex for six years and say it's not unusual to hear shots fired, but never has gun violence hit this close to home. It was too close, <laughs> too close. It's my only boy, my last child. No. <laughs> So now I'm just working on getting out of here. Police in 23 Division say the vehicle is likely a 2010 or 2011 RAV4 with a sunroof. One of the shooters is described as a black male with a medium build, wearing a dark jacket and pants and a hoodie. Superintendent Ron Tavener says someone knows who these people are and is urging them to come forward. He told reporters he is horrified and disgusted by this incident. It's a miracle that this young boy wasn't struck. And we're so thankful for that. But it's very outrageous that this has taken place in our community. That people have a total disregard for human life, for children playing in an area. When you heard shots being fired, did you just run? I ran inside of my friend's house. Oh my God. And I hid under the couch. Ten-year-old Lou Shane was with Marcus on Saturday night in an ironic twist that points to the high level of danger that kids have gotten used to in the Jamestown housing complex. They were playing a game they call hide from the cars at the time of the shooting. Once a car comes, we usually run away. Why is that? Because, like, we think that people would just do a drive-by and shoot. During the news conference today, police said that they didn't know who the first person in the video was or even if he was the intended target. Residents here told me tonight that they do know but don't want to say out of fear of more gun violence. Near Martin Grove and Finch, I'm Pam Seidel, City News.